On Wednesday, September 13th, a group of students from the University of Missouri gathered by the columns for a photo. The students are responding to comments made by President Trump regarding the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals legislation, also known as DACA. I wanted to affirm my support for passing the DREAM Act, which at this point is the only way that we're going to get DACA codified into law. Students gathered their frustrations towards the Trump administration to create this event to show their solidarity with DREAMers. We're talking about young people who want to work, who want to study, who want to improve their lives, the lives of their families, but also who want to you know, improve this country. During the event, a photo was taken to depict their support to some 800,000 young people who rely on DACA. Two, three, dreamers! It's up to us who have citizenship to use our privilege to show that we support that. The student population really cares about this issue. Students then received a list of local legislators to call and voice their concern. People have elected them to be officials and to represent us, and so it's high time that they actually represent the constituents and support the DREAM Act. There's absolutely no legal or economic justification for this act. It is purely xenophobic nativist sentiments driving this, this move. Um, and so if they want to be on the right side of history, they should absolutely vote for the DREAM Act. They got to work making phone calls demanding their voice be heard. I just wanted to call today to voice my opposition to the president's announced cancellation of the DACA program. This is a really important issue to me, especially because uh, there are a number of DACA students who attend the University of Missouri, and I care about what happens to the other uh, people at my university. Mizzou students have one simple message for dreamers. The people who don't think you should be here are a small minority, a very small minority.